My name's Lee Tiernan, I'm a chef, and we're gonna be making confit pig jowl, coated with brown shrimp and black sesame, with some Brussels sprouts, radish, and chili. What you need to make this is one happy pig's gel, skin on, some rock salt, garlic, duck fat, some black sesame, eggs, fermented soybeans, two types of chili, green and red, radishes, Brussels sprouts, mirin, sesame seed oil, potato starch, coriander, or in the States I think you call it cilantro, lemons, and dried shrimp. So we're going to lightly coat the gel in oil. Little will go a long way. It's like if you're uh, rubbing sun, sun cream into your girlfriend's back. And all this is going to do is going to help the salt adhere or stick to the gel. See, the idea of comfy is like preserving. So you're going to salt something, you're going to draw the moisture out, it's going to be preserved. But what we want to do, we want to get that flavour, but we don't want to keep it in fat for weeks. So we want to put the salt and the garlic on there, put it in the fridge for a few hours, take it out, comfy it cool it down, chop it up, and cook it. So I'm gonna flavor the salt with garlic. You wanna season this like a steak. You wanna mix the garlic and the, and the oil and the salt and just massage it over it. And the nice thing about the oil is that once the oil's on there, there's gonna be no salt left just sitting in the tray. And that just goes in the fridge. So you have your, your duck fat working. We're putting a good splash of mirin in there. We've been in the uh, fridge for three and a half hours. We want to just brush that off a little. Nice and slow. You need enough duck fat to submerge the gel. A layer of parchment over the top, grease proof. Over the parchment paper, we're putting some tin foil. And then it's into the oven. 300 degrees Fahrenheit for around two hours. So this is in for about two hours. You want to cool it down as quickly as possible. And then, you know, when you can stick your finger in it, you're not going to screw your fridge up. So then we're going to portion this. Nice snack size bites. A little bit of potato starch. Gonna crack some eggs. We've got some dried shrimp. And these, these aren't the, the, the dried shrimp as in the ones you chop up and put in like a sambal or whatever. These are literally dehydrated baby shrimp. Some black sesame. Just give a little contrast. Yeah, about half a cup of potato starch and about a cup of black sesame and about three cups of dry trim. So now we're going to prepare the salad. Choose a medium radish, some Brussels sprouts. I'm just going to put a bit of mirin here, a little bit of sesame oil, not too much otherwise it will just be completely overpowered. Fermented soybeans, some lemon, green and red chilies. Cilantro, well, we call uh, this coriander in England. A little taste. Okay. You want a hot pan so it doesn't just sort of sweat. You want to take some of the fat you cook the head in. Cilantro. And then some cock brand shot for onions. There you go. This is shrimp crusted pig cheek with a Brussels sprout and radish salad. You know, I don't usually like describing my own food, but nice and salty, loads of sweetness coming through. Nice hit of chili. 